I don't know about you, but I keep seeing people on X.com show off their fantastic software apps that they made themselves by vibe coding. And these people have got no prior experience uh, or in coding. They have no developer knowledge, but they've still been managed to make a really good app. And in some cases, create monthly recurring revenue from those apps by charging people for them. So I decided I'd like to give this a go and actually build an app from scratch as a non-coder, which is me. I can just about put together a website, but that is it. <laughs> I'm afraid I know no language whatsoever. So I'm going to try Replit out today, which is rumored to be one of the best applications to build with uh, as they have everything in the one platform, i.e. you can uh, host a database and everything all within Replit and you don't have to bolt everything together because I thought that would be easier for someone like me. So I'm going to build my very own app in this video. You can follow along and you can see if it's truly possible as a non-coder to build a fully working app. So I've signed up for free with Replit and there's a link underneath this video if you want to do the same. And this is what you see. So this is a brand new account, not touched yet. And this is where you go and put in your prompt. So you put in here exactly what it is you want Replit to try and build for you. You can choose from a web app, which is what I'm going to do. Then you've got mobile app, which is currently in beta at the time of doing this video, a data app, 3D game. There's all kinds of different things, agents and automations. And then you literally put your prompt in. Now, I have created my prompt in ChatGPT. I told ChatGPT roughly what I wanted and then had it create this beast of a prompt for me, which, of course, you all can do for free um, by just going to ChatGPT.com anyway. So I'll paste it in right now, just here. Now, the way that when you paste in a big load of text into Replit, it actually puts it in this little kind of attachment, which is pretty cool. But I'll read out the prompt to you while it's getting busy as well. And then you just click start chat and that's it. It should start to have a look at your prompt, understand exactly what it is you want built and then start to build it. And then we can actually look at the whole process right now. So first of all, um, let me tell you what it is that I am actually going to be building. It is going to be as it's a seasonal time of the year. It is going to be a Christmas card generator app. And it's going to use AI to generate the different designs. People are going to be able to come along, tell the app what it is they want in the way of a Christmas card design. And then the app will build it for them. And then they can just download it and get it printed out. So that's what I thought I'd build with this. And you can see it's already decided that it's going to call it Merry Print Christmas Cards Web App. So it made that up itself, which is pretty cool. And now it's um, basically just looking into the integrations that it's going to need, i.e. AI image generation. Right, here we go. So now um, it's broken down everything that it's got to do. Let's zoom in on this text here. So a production ready Christmas card designer web app with AI image generation custom text styling and print ready export capabilities. It says I'll include the following features, a clean responsive homepage with app introduction, three panel card designer interface, um, we've got card size selector, that will be important of course, like A6, A5 and so on. Uh, text input fields for a front message, subheading and so on. And then AI image generation using OpenAI uh, Dali E. Now I might change that. I'll probably use Nano Banana because that's uh, the best at the moment out there. And then uh, you can export in a high resolution PNG and PDF. So it's understood the plan. Now at this point, um, we can scan this now to install Replit on our phone and we can get notified when this has done the job because it could take, as you can see there, 20 minutes or so for it to build the app. Now compare that to a actual developer, which you would have to pay and you're talking more like two or three weeks minimum to get the minimum viable app up and running. So 20 minutes is insanely fast and absolutely incredible. So you can either build the entire app or you can sort of build the prototype front end and then iterate that. But for this video, I'm just going to go steaming in and try and build the whole app as fast as possible. And we'll click start building and then we'll jump back into this video once it's got going. Now, here's something interesting that's been happening. As I told you, it 
it sort of made its own mind up that it was going to use OpenAI's DALI for the image generation and was asking me for my OpenAI key, which is fine, but I've just said I would prefer to use Nano Banana for the image generation. And it said that and then moved on forward and said to me, uh, Nano Banana is powered by Google's Gemini technology. I have two options for you. One, Google Gemini. This uses the same underlying technology or to replicate API, uh, access Nano Banana directly through replicate. So I'll go with like option number one, which you just select and then you just click send to agent and then it just moves on. So it does work with you to make the app. It doesn't just kind of assume absolutely everything and get on with it. It will ask for your input where required, which is great, just what you want. Now I created my Google API key and I put it in to Replit just there. And as you can see, I've saved it to the account. So now anytime I build any app or I want to use it again, Replit has that key safely secured. And to see it, all you need to do is just go to uh, App Secrets and then you can see there it is, uh, Gemini API key. So that's there now ready to go in case I ever need it again. Now it seems when I was developing the app, there was a few problems with Google Gemini uh, disconnecting or they were overrun or something like that. So I've switched it to OpenAI to do the image generation. But look at this amazing preview of the app. Create beautiful Christmas cards, design stunning personalized holiday cards. Look at that, and there's like a sample. Everything you need to create, AI image generation, upload your own photos, print ready export, beautiful styles, and then how it works. And then a straightforward button there to start designing. And here is our app. It looks fantastic. You've got all these different styles like cozy uh, classic or vintage postcard, a photo collage, a bold typographic, and then custom or cute cartoon. Then we've got our sizes down the bottom left, which is brilliant. We can go for A6, uh, square. We can choose our font, our background color if we want. That's for the cute cartoon style only. Oh, and now it's just refreshed it because it's added in the OpenAI's image generation. So our app should be fully working now. And then we can zoom in on the design as well, which I love. And I'd probably have it about that big when I first started out, actually. And any little changes like that, you can just tell the uh, replit to just get on and change it and it will do it for you. And then we've got our text over the right. So we can say uh, Merry Christmas, wishing you joy and happiness. That's good, isn't it? Uh, inside the, the message there, it's written for us. And then with love, I'll put I'll put the West family. There we go. Let's change that. And then this is the prompt area uh, for what it is you'd like to have on the card. So let's use this one. It says cute illustrated Christmas scene with a happy or oh, with happy cartoon characters, bright, cheerful colors, snow falling, cust uh, Christmas lights. And then um, what I'll do is I'll choose that cute cartoon then in that case and then just click generate image. Oh, and just underneath, you can also upload your own images into the card. And then that's how we export it. So as a first job, I mean, this has done a fantastic effort. And there we are, look at that. <laughs> that is a fantastic little design. I love it. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. And then we can have a look at what we've got on the inside. May your holidays be filled with warmth. Look at that, that is superb. So now I should be able to just uh, download that as a high res PNG. Let me just click it. Yep, there we go. I can see it's 3.2 megabytes. So that's worked really well. And then download the web version optimized for sharing. OK, yes. And it's done that to 921 kilobytes. Now that is frighteningly quick to develop a full scale app that does the job. And of course, you can go ahead now and start building in features like adding Stripe, you know, where people literally just pay you a couple of dollars per card. Or then you could connect up to uh, one of the shipping services and have these cards actually printed and posted straight off to someone. So you can keep going with the app until you get it to do everything that you want it to do with Replit. And all the time um, that I was practicing and just showing you this uh, demonstration here, look at that, it's just resizing it all as well. That's really good, isn't it? Just over here, it's been updating all of the documentation for the app as well in the background so that everything makes sense if somebody does look through all of the code. And then on the right hand side here, you see just at the top, it says open files. 
here you can see all of the different files that have been created there um, in the app development process as well. So um, I absolutely love it. And then when you're happy with your app, you just press this publish button up here and then we can get this live and on the web. And also, I believe you can. Uh, yes, you can. Here you go. You can also add your own custom domain as well. So, you know, MerryPrintChristmasCards.com. I could put up there, press publish, and I've got myself a fully working app. So I think this has um, been one of the easiest app creation platforms I've ever used. As I say, there's a link underneath the video. The only issue I had, if we just scroll through the chat here, and what it was doing is just testing to try and find the reason um, what was wrong with the uh, uh, Google's nano banana image generation it kept trying to find it out but as it turned out I think somewhere just on the left here the last thing that it said that there was an error with um, Google actually um, producing it was producing errors uh, on the Google side of things which does happen with the API now and again but I was able to just quickly switch to um, open AI and you know here is the um, end result so I love it now I'm going to just try a different one as well so let's just refresh the app here let's just try one more different design I guess uh, I don't know if there's what are some way actually in the app at this moment in time that you can you can delete it but I think you can just go ahead and generate a new one so here's here's the uh, the prompt that's been put in by us clicking on the card style click generate and now we should have ourselves a new design and I guess it will just keep adding to your recent images down there. So all of this was thought of by AI, not me. And, you know, to be honest, it'd be hard to do a better job, wouldn't it? If you had to plan this out yourself. There it is. There's our vintage style card. Let's zoom in on that one. Look at that. And as another idea, when you're creating apps like this, there's nothing to stop you actually selling the app. Once you've got it working perfectly, maybe you don't want to run it yourself then why not list it on flipper.com or something like that and actually sell the app as a as a ready to go kind of business for someone else but that looks fantastic so i am super impressed with the way that this has been done for um literally no adjusting at all from my side in the prompting other than just telling it to go from nano banana back to open ai which is what i suggested in the first place so that is it for this little demonstration me a non-coder has managed to go and build myself a fully working really nicely designed app using replit and it took about 25 to 30 minutes to do it which is frighteningly fast. So if you like this demonstration of how to build your app um, as a non-coder like me, then click that like button, subscribe for more videos, go check out Replit and see what you can build yourself. And I'll see you in another AI related video very soon.